Let's get the party started. Chat, remember this? Remember this? Remember when we talked about that Twitch is introducing new enforcement, or rather that they're introducing enforcement notes, additional clarification and examples within the community guidelines? Remember it? Re uh, remember this? Yeah, it, it, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse. No? No? Well, you better watch my previous video then. <laughs> so, to start this off, to start this off, chat, Dexterdle posted on the 10th yesterday. Twitch tells Dexterdle their guidelines for VTubers hasn't changed. They are required to follow the same attire guidelines as human streamers. Twitch responds as VTuber erupts over new attire policy. We want to get this right. Here's the article. Here's the article. Go back. Here, here. It's right there. There. Looking. VTubers were left confused and angered after Twitch pointed out that its attire policy also applies to digital streamers, saying their hips must be covered as part of these rules. The VTubing community took notice of this on October 7th after the platforming implemented its new enforcement notes features, which act as additional clarification and examples within its community guidelines to get ahead of any new matters that break these rules. After learning the, of this, many VTubers spoke out against the policy, arguing that they have to commission new models, a pricey and time-consuming venture for streamers whose existing other just don't meet the site. This entire fucking article is fucking ass! This entire article is hyper ass! Thanks to the follow NKN. This entire article is ass because we were not upset about the clarifications that now we are upheld to the same standard. We are upset about the double standards. We are upset about the double standards! We've looked at this. Three Twitch has now confirmed that VTuber subs must be covered. Now, this has always been the case, right? Oops. We're going right to the tweet. This has always been the case that the hips must have must have been required and now was more clarified. But beforehand, it wasn't as obviously stated. It wasn't as obviously stated. People have gotten banned because of this apparently before, but they didn't exactly tell them, yeah, it's because of this. We can only speculate that the reason was hips before. Also, chat, exposed hips? Like, are we in the Middle Ages? What do you mean exposed hips? Like, oh my god, touching the real issue and addressing a non-issue, literally. Dexterter literally... They apparently contacted Twitch, right? By sharing this additional information, our goal is to make it clear where our enforcement lines and to take out the guesswork for our community. Twitch said of its new enforcement notes feature. We do not want to clarify... Sorry. We do want to clarify that we haven't changed any of our community guidelines. We just shared more examples of what behaviors violate our rules so that those rules are easier to follow and ideally less likely to trip people up, they added. Twitch went on to state that its attire policy is equally applicable to human streamers and VTubers alike, although they didn't confirm if this applies to swimwear or pools or beach environments. This is entirely ass. This article and Twitch's response to this shit entirely fucking ass thrown in the fucking bin. Get rid of this. Disgusting. Some even accused Twitch of hating them with one lashing out after receiving a sexual content warning due to their avatar wearing a pajama onesie with some cleavage showing. Yeah, I had this open for you. This apparently got them banned. <laughs> what I do find a little bit funny here. I'd really like to know why I got a... Oops. Why I got a content warning for last night's stream. I had a onesie on with a normal amount of chest shown. I'm sorry, chat, but that's... That's a bit more than normal. <laughs> like... I'ma be honest, that's a tiny bit more than normal. <laughs> no, it's okay. I like it. It's normal, okay? <laughs> Looks fine to me. <laughs> Let's see, hey, even if it was a little bit more than normal. 
overall it was a onesie. And you can see the lines of the bra right there, man. Like... <sighs> Twitch really has got to chill, man. Twitch really has got to chill. So... What we are... <laughs> upset about... What we really are upset about... Is that... This is of unimportance quite yet. That we... Are not being treated similarly. VTubers wanted to be treated similarly to FlashTubers. Twitch updated their policies to reflect that. But VTubers don't want that. Help me understand. That's not the issue here. That is not the issue. We are not being treated equally. You want to see an example? You want to see an example that I had to heavily... <laughs> that I went out of my way to heavily censor? By the way, all I'm gonna say... This right there is your gameplay window. Like, I had to heavily censor this. Here? I'm gonna tell you what's here. Here's the win- Here? It <laughs> why? Why did I censor it if it was on Twitch? I'll tell you why, because I'm a VTuber. Even though- Even if she didn't get banned for this, I would, because I'm the VTuber. Actually, if the reason they don't go after flash tubers is not to get negative publicity being called sexist, I can see why they f feel they can go after VTubers. Oh, after flash tubers is to not. Oh. Okay, so what you're saying is they don't want to get called sexist if they went after these girls, but since it's VTubers and it's like, I guess we are less creatures now. Uh, that is good enough. This is anime racism. It might as well be. It might as well be anime racism. It might as well be, chat. Remember, VTubers are only 40-year-old men? Bro, I saw a really funny tweet. I'm sorry that I didn't fucking sort the shit properly. Oh, I saw a really funny tweet about this. But I didn't sort jack shit. I'm stupid. Either way... Evan here goes out to say that we want to be treated similarly and now they are apparently treating us similarly but we're still mad. No, we're upset about the double standard. The streamer has been banned 10 times and unbanned 10 times on top of that and she keeps doing the same content. She keeps doing the same content shit. Her longest ban period was 9 days. Not 2 weeks. Not 3 weeks. Not a month. 9 days. The longest out of 10 bands. And usually she got unbanned within one to three days. And to this, I want to bring up this. Twitch employees are never beating the allegations. Make this is this is under the sexual harassment. This is under the sexual harassment um, guidelines of this. This is- you, we can find this right here. Making derogatory statements about another person's perceived sexual practice or sexual morality or sexual health. Suggesting that a person's channel is only popular or has not been suspended due to sexual favors. If you do that as a channel or streamer, you'll get banned. The first two as well, alleging that a person is sexually immoral due to their attire or physical appearance. Bro, with this one, uh, Twitch really is shooting themselves in the fucking foot. Because this is literally what they're doing with everyone right now. This is literally what they are doing. But the flesh and pool good mech stuff brings in the big money. Corporal can't do anything about that. Yep. No! Pool doesn't bring in money. And pool doesn't bring in money because they have less advertisements. If they even have any advertisement in the pool category. If you're in the pool category, more than likely the sexual content theme will be slapped upon your fucking face. And thus you will get less to no advertisement. So in that sense, I'm still a bit confused. Why? So what I see here is don't show anything, even remotely sexual, unless you show big fat titties. Yep. Yep, a tax evasionist. Thanks for the follow. Yep. Pool as in poor man smoker? No, pool as in hot tubs, pools and beaches. Good timing? Um, so-so. In the middle of commentary. Twitch leadership is full of hypocrisy. It is. It is, man. I... 
can't wait until Shy Lily does the interview with um, Dan Clancy. I can't wait for that. I really, really, really can't wait for that interview. <sighs> it's disappointing. Within the same thing. Within the same thing. Kick out here. Kick out here. Release the VTuber asset hat. In the midst of Twitch hating on VTubers. They go. We just released the kick a hat asset for cough VTubers. Yes, we like VTubers. Just saying. I so Twitch, <laughs> not Twitch, sorry. Kick trying to get some points here. Meanwhile, it took years for us begging Twitch to even acknowledge us enough for a stream category. Here, here it is. That's the one I was wanted to show you guys. I am so convinced that a VTuber gave a Twitch kid an erection purely by existing and the mod got uncomfortable with the fact that it might be an old man with a voice changer. Honestly, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. I don't think that's far-fetched. People are really overestimating voice changer capabilities? No. You are underestimating voice changer capabilities. My friend, like a month ago, maybe to you, my friend came into voice change, came into voice chat with a voice changer. And I literally thought there was a girl in his place. I literally thought there was a woman at his place. It sounded so real. Fleshtuber can do almost anything that violates TOS. VTubers are on a tightrope and get no mercy. Yep. Again. This. This. Ridiculous. What I mean is usually they do require some sort of actual voice adjustment. At least the ones I'm aware of. I don't know too much about it. I haven't used them myself. So all I know is... My friend used one and he sounded like a freaking girl. I heard a convincing one. I heard a really convincing one. You got a link for that? I I'd have to ask my friend. I think it's voice mod. I think he used voice mod, but I'm not sure. Is that Asian bunny? Yeah, it is. Like, it says it right there on the top. Like, there's no point in me saying, uh, I don't, don't want to send harassment her away. Like, no, don't harass her. It's ridiculous that this goes by. And we, as VTubers, get punished, is what I'm saying. Blue Twitch have been getting a lot of attention from VTubers, right? When people really mad at Twitch news rules. They even responded and quote retweet Leah's tweet. I did see that. I did see that. I did see that. I wasn't sure if I can show that on stream, though. Harassment mods will auto ban. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm also saying, like, don't go out and, like, trash-talking her for doing this. Like, in the end, don't don't hate the player, hate the game, or I don't fucking know anymore, man. Like, she's abusing the system. What I'm on about is that she's only one example. There's hundreds, thousands of others that do the same. Legit hope this girl didn't catch much hate. I don't I, I think she'll- she's fine, honestly. She's just playing the game. Yeah, she is playing the game. Hate the reality of Twitch? Yeah. Yeah, hate the reality of Twitch. Think of the kids though. Yeah, like a 13 plus website, am I right? 13 plus website. I almost project Melody Silverbase in there, a proof of how big VTubers are on Twitch. That is true, they are really fucking big and have in place thanks for the follow. They are so freaking big. Also, I, I here I just looked up who that was just to see. It's some, I don't know, some big name YouTuber who does VTuber clips and then this guy is milking VTuber clips and is then complaining about this. Uh, that just had me like, why? Bro. I would admit though, a lot of the policies are targeted, but they do bring them in line with what has always been expected of facecam streamers. The, the issue is facecam streamers get away with so much fucking shit. That's the freaking issue. That is the freaking issue. I think he was rage baiting because it's such a dumb tag. It might have been. It might have been rage bait. It might have been. You are right. You are right. It might have been. One more thing in regards of this. Primo is such a sweetie and I love seeing her in clips. I actually don't know who Chromo is, but what caught my attention? What did catch my attention was the following. 
Well, I got banned on my birthday for you, Frisky. Twitch support. I wasn't breaking any TOS and my streams are labeled as 18 plus. I make plenty of jokes, but I never act like a child or make jokes about that. And my model is a freaky chibi creature. Please fix this. There's nothing youthful or risky about this. It's my birthday. I'm a hack man. This is unfair. Hack, most likely 30 plus in that case. Just in case you guys weren't aware what hack means on the VTubing scene. I'm sorry my birthday party got cut short. I didn't get to do the karaoke like I wanted to, but I'll make it up to you guys in seven days, I guess. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. This is ridiculous. This is so fucking ridiculous. I got banned on my birthday and I wasn't breaking any Twitch TOS. You wanna know why? Let me find it for you guys. Let me find it for you guys. Expand all. Control F. Lolly. Here we go. Enforcement notes and clarification. Content warning. Depicting fictional anime characters of a childlike appearance. Lollies, shoulders, with any kind of sexual framing is not allowed. This applies to VTubers and within games where avatars are uploaded, such as VR chat with chat like avatars, even if the broadcaster and operator of the avatar is above the age of 18. Now, you know what? On paper, I must say fair. On paper, I must say fair, but <laughs> here's the freaking but. Chibis are getting targeted. I fucking called a chibi VTuber model that was zoomed in on the fact only got banned on their birthday. I fucking called it, but I hate that I'm right. So now I'm going to day drink. I'm right there with you, man. I am right there with you. This is absolutely so ridiculous. You've risky. Celebrating her birthday with a chibi model. What if a girl with childlike appearance sexualizes herself IRL? Is that also a ban? Bro, that's not for me to decide. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I swear they need to fire the Twitch staff as holding a grudge against VTubers. Yeah, they 100% of someone holding a grudge against VTubers. They have said there's no one out there that has a grudge against the VTubers. Yeah, right. Who the fuck believes it? I don't want to let this ruin my birthday. I'm sad, but there's nothing I can do right now. So thank you so much for all the fun tonight. I'll make it up to you in seven days, maybe soon enough Twitch sets me free. Update! Twitch will not set me free, but I will spend the seven days training the hyperbolic time chamber and maybe figuring out YouTube stuff for future proofing. Thank you for the wishes, everyone. This, this 100% fucking future proof yourselves. Because Twitch just doesn't seem to like us. Like Kirsha said, they seem to be anime racist. Which is fucking ridiculous! We fucking. We're people too, right? We're people too! <laughs> Twitch staff are paid off by OF streamers? Bro, you can't say that. You, you can't say that, bro. Where is it? Did I close it? I, I guess I did. Bro, you can't say that no more. You can't say that no more. <laughs> it's in the Twitch TOS, you can't say that. Uh, there's no unfair behavior like that, bro. What's up, Kitsu? May I DM one of you on Discord about something real quick? Might be important. Uh, yeah, DM me. Sure, go on. He said paid off. There was no implication of sexual favors being exchanged. You know what? That's fair. You know what? You have a good point. <laughs> you have a good point. I was there when Chromo was banned and feels targeted. First Shonda, now Chromo. Yeah, that's true. Shonda also got banned for what? Nothing. She did nothing wrong. Both banned on birthday streams. Arguably one of the most lucrative events. Yes, absolutely. Birthday events? I read someone saying that birthday events are the most lucrative streams for VTubers. I'm gonna I'm go a step above. It's not just for VTubers, it's for anyone. Any streamer ever celebrating their uh, birthday with their community is gonna be a huge event. My birthday was a huge event. Bro, my birthday was a huge event and I'm like a no-name streamer. It's... It does seem... Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't get banned on my birthday. I even was on the front page. I'm surprised I didn't get targeted. I really am surprised. After all, I am having a chibi model. Kitsu turning 40, big party. Shut the fuck up. As in chat, know your name, Kitsu. She got banned for using... Oh, yep. Can't show that. Cannot show that. Because if they do it, that's okay. If I do that, I get banned. If I show that, I get banned. But it's on Twitch. But it's on Twitch. That's fine. So yeah, that's that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about.
Sent the thing I had? All right. Oh, uh, that's all right. I don't care about that. Don't worry. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Daily Twitch rent over. Yeah, basically. That's it. That's all.